Right, I've backed the camera up as far as I can go. I think that's in shot. Yeah, this thing's huge. Um, yeah, hey, how you doing? Anyway, this is a little bit of a change to what I normally look at. So normally I'm looking at um, retro gaming, retro computers, retro consoles, that sort of thing. Uh, this time I've bought a thing because I want to start looking at some retro hi-fi. So I've wanted something that I can play me vinyl on that isn't complete garbage. And I've bought a couple of those um, cheapy Chinese made turntables. I said, well, I say cheapy. One of them was a cheapy thing, which is the one that works. And then the far more expensive one, which should have been a really high quality one, which is horrendous. They're awful. I want something a bit older, a bit nicer. Something I can, you know, something with decent sound quality. So I've been looking for a, a, an old music centre for quite a while. Um, and I'm looking at the prices of them and good ones, well, they're really starting to go up in value now for something that's that's really nice and in, in really good condition. So I've done what I usually do and I've bought something that isn't a particularly good example and isn't very nice and in good condition. And it's this thing. So it's a Hitachi SDT118 music centre. So it's got the built-in turntable, cassette deck, um, tuner, what have you. I don't have the original speakers, but I have picked up a nice set of Wharfdales that should match up with this very, very nicely. Dates from, I think it's either late 70s or very early 80s, round about then. And I paid absolutely buttons for it because it had... Well, the the guy who's, who's selling it, he said he, he hadn't tested it far. He said he's tried the turntable, but he can hear the motor running, but the the, um, the deck isn't turning. He said it's pretty sure it's the belt. I can confirm that. He said he was getting no life whatsoever out the tape deck. I've tried the tape deck, and I can hear the motor running, but again, I think the belts have probably perished, so I'm not too worried about that. That'll be a text message. I'll edit that out. Anyway, um, well, it's thrown me completely... Yeah, so this thing turned up really, really badly packaged and it suffered as a result. So it come with the faults that I knew about and a whole load of others. So, in fact, let me take out the stand and I'll show you what the issues were. So, if we have a look at the, the cover, if we have a look at the corner of it. Yeah, it's all been smashed to bits. And what's happened there is it wasn't packed properly and it was probably kicked around by parcel force. Um, I've got all bits so I can potentially glue it back together but it's damage I didn't need. But that's not the worst of it. Right, is this going to focus? Just about, I think. Uh, right. So the second problem I had is he didn't either, he could have either removed or take down the deck and he didn't. And this thing had decided to bounce around as well so this had come right off and it was going bang 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 all over the place um it smashed that hinge there it's probably this actually that smashed the back of the the case as well um oh, you can see the remains of the old belt on there to turn to glue that wasn't the worst of it either um the tone arm that hadn't been taped down so this thing was going bang 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 all over the place and that has done some damage so it's ripped off the stylus completely. That's not a problem in itself because I've managed to pick up a new one. In fact, I've picked up a whole new cartridge for it. I'm not too worried about that. But it's also damaged the auto return um, and play mechanism. And there were bits of plastic, chunks of plastic, in fact, falling out the bottom of this when I opened it up. So I don't know the full extent of the damage. It might not be repairable. I don't know. Doesn't mean I can't use it. It just means I'll have to, you know, like like a like a uh, like a really old fashioned person, I'll have to actually pick the needle up and put it on the record and, and then pick it up again once it's done. I might be able to fix it, I don't know, but there was quite a considerable amount of damage done to that tone arm, and that's a delicate bit of, bit of equipment. All they had to do was tape it down there and it wouldn't have moved. But he didn't. Um, even this, I mean the um you know the the lift isn't even working on it, nothing. Hey ho! So I did put power to it, and I've not connected up any speakers yet, but I did use the headphone socket, and I've been um, plugged in an aerial, I've been twiddling through the stations as much as I can, and it's doing absolutely nothing. There is a faint pop when you turn the power on, there is a very faint pop when you turn the power off. 
Other than that, I'm getting no sound out of it whatsoever, not even a crackle. So, I think it's safe to assume that the amp doesn't work. I, I don't mind that so much. Um, that's electronics, that's things I can look at. My big problem is what damage has been done to the tone arm and um, how repairable that is, but yeah, we'll get to that. Anyway, um, yeah, so open these up if you've got one and you're wondering. There's four screws on the sides, on the sides, so there's two screws each side, and then there's three more screws at the bottom, which took me a while to find, and they are right really recessed, but once you spot them, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And then, make sure the tape deck's open, because the top of the tape deck, the case, the, um, the actual cover comes with the top, and the mechanism will stay where it is, and if you don't open it and try to lift the cover off, you're going to break it. Lift it at the back, tilt it forward to release the clips at the front and then it'll lift away. So the, the actual um, turntable comes with it, tape deck stays where it is. I've already disconnected the wires. And I've gone through it and I've checked all the fuses and they all seem fine. I've picked out all the broken bits of plastic that I can find as well. Um, yeah, oh god, you can, you can see that'll focus the state that that belt is in just for the counter in fact that's just a sticky mess it's not even a belt anymore so that's probably all that's wrong with the tape deck that and it probably wants a bit of lubrication as well initially I pressed the pause button and it went down and wouldn't come back up again and a little squirt of lubrication fixed that so the whole mechanism is just a bit stiff uh, in terms of the amplifier I don't you see, I'm a little bit of a fish out of water with these things. I don't really understand them. So it's going to be a learning experience as I go. Check the fuses. I suppose I can go through and I can pull a few capacitors. Nothing looks like it's leaked, but I can go and I can take them off and test them if needs be. And if I find a couple that are out, I'll, I'll recap them all. Um, there's, a, there's a few active components. There's a few transistors. There's a couple of, um, couple of little ICs. The transistors I can just take out and test. That's not a problem. As for the power amplifier, that is a very common part. And I was able to buy a brand new replacement for that very cheap. I don't know that that is the fault. But for the price of it, you know, literally a few quid, I'll, I'll just buy it anyway. And even if it isn't the fault, I've got a spare then, haven't I? So, yeah. So, there you go. That's just a quick look at a project I'm going to be cracking on with. Um, the reason I've put it on this channel is I thought it might be of some interest to someone. I don't know, because it is a little bit different to what I normally do. So, I thought I'll put a little video out, and if, if people are interested in seeing more of it, you can let me know. That's fine. If not, then that's fine as well. I'll just crack on with it in my own time. But either way, this is going to be something I'm going to be tinkering around with for a bit. And hopefully I can get some life out of it. I don't like just throwing these things away. Um, and I quite like the look of the old music sensors as well. And I do like, from what I remember, the sound quality was used to, used to be absolutely amazing out of them as well. So, so that's that, I suppose. So, um, yeah. Thank you very much, as always, for watching. And hopefully I'll see you on another one. It'll probably be something computery and probably a spectrum or something. I'm not entirely sure yet. But, yeah. Uh, I'll see you then. Bye.